So I was doing a little bit of master farmer thieving and then just like an amateur yo-yoer, I decided to take the dog for a walk and now I am going to do an LMS commentary. Uh, I already recorded one, so I don't know if it's going to be the first or second one I put out, but we'll see. And we are in Worlds 580. It's the only LMS world available. It's probably going to be filled with bots like these level 50s. They're all bots. Um, yeah, that's my bot friend right there. He is going to be my bestie this round, but it is what it is. So when you fight a bot, you really have two options. You can try and snowball or you can try to uh, just kill it as fast as possible. Our goal is to steal this bot from Elna. That'll be really... No, the bot was fast. So if you just want to snowball, all you got to do is just hit the bot, walk out diagonally, and then DDS, walk under. Walk out, walk under. That's it. If you're actually looking to improve, you can just try to one tick barrage. That was not a one tick barrage. That was a two tick barrage. You can tell the ticks uh, between one tick and two tick. Uh, basically, when you are uh, attacking, if you equip your robes and then attack, you didn't one tick it. If you equip your robes as you attack, that's a one tick. Good job. And that's what we strive to do. I mean, I'm going to be trying it. I don't know how often it'll actually happen, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, for those who don't know, anytime you open a chest, you get a primary roll and a secondary roll. The primary is only good items like, uh, I don't know, AGS, armor crossbow, stuff like that. Good items. And then there's a secondary roll, normally like slight upgrades. So in this case, our slight upgrade was the ancestral robe top. Um, you may have noticed like Infernal Cape, that looks like a slight upgrade. That's on an AGS. Yes, there's four items that Jagex has in the primary uh, pool, like the good item pool that you can get. And it's the Infernal Cape, the Occult Necklace, the Seer's Ring and the Mage's Book. I don't know why they're allowed because, for instance, you can get a Infernal Cape and Ancestral Top. Meanwhile, this guy can get, I don't know, Dragon Claws and full Darox. And then like who has an advantage? Obviously this dude. So there is a huge amount of RNG in the drops, and that's why part of the, the name of the game is to snowball as quickly as possible. You just want to try to cycle through as many items as you can, and then give yourself the best chance of getting to the finals with a seriously overpowered setup, so your opponent has no chance but to just immediately die. I do not like the fact that he didn't try and barrage me at all. That's really weird. So all I'm doing now is just looking at what's on top of his head and then doing the opposite. Okay, except right there, because uh, I figured he'd freeze me. He's probably going to get under me now. No, he's staff bashes. Bold choice. A very bold choice, Cotton. Now we're frozen face to face. So what you want to do, you want to whip as much as possible. I know in real life, you probably want to be the one getting whipped. I mean, don't we all? Nice dummy mommy. But oh, he's going to double mom. Oh, he wants the crusher. Uh, but basically, in the real game, the, the whip is so good. You need to be whipping as much as possible to force them to respect it. In this case, he died. He didn't respect the whip enough. And as I mentioned before, everyone gets a primary, a secondary upgrade. So his primary was the granite mall. His secondary was the Torx plate legs. And I actually really like the mall because it leads to a like a, it leads to an optional win condition, if that makes sense. Ooh. And now I actually really like this setup as well because like uh, let me see, just do I need a range pot? I don't know where my stats are. Am I boosted? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna pot anyways. Um, because now I can whip double mall elder and like. Most people, like a normal human, would react, but it'd be really fun if it lands. Zoo Ted. Um, the reason I like this name so much is my friend Zoo has accounts that are named like Zoo Min Zoo. Like it's a Zoo space three letters. So like this guy's almost his format. That's really weird. Uh, okay, let's get back into it. So these guys look like total noobs. This guy does have a staff upgrade for me, but he's gonna get another upgrade. This fight might be almost over if this ends right now. Why, why are you chasing with the DDS downtown? What is going on here? Shoot. I just want to see if the fight's about to end. Otherwise, I need... No, I'm going to go to the outcrops anyways, because there's a crate over here. Um, The fact is, I also got an ancestral upgrade, which is really nice, because I feel like you you feel like a raid boss when you have matching armor. Uh, For magic upgrades, you can get both Arams and ancestrals, and sometimes you get a mix and a match. But it's just nice to have... Oh, and now, like... Like, I already look like a raid boss, don't I? Yeah, probably not. But, uh, I could be a raid boss. Okay, so this guy's just... Oh, no, he's in a fight, I guess. Moek. Let's see if there's any good loot on the ground. Always check the loot piles for something good. Ugh, nothing too good. These guys look like they're struggling a little bit. This guy has uh, multiple upgrades for me, so I'm really hoping that I can wait for this fight to end and kill this guy because they look a little bit lost. But, uh, you know, that's a Garazi Rapier, that's a, a Guthin's Helm, and a Guthin's Helm is definitely better than a Torax Helm. They have the exact same stats, but just look at how men menacing that is. Wow, I just stuttered. 
Uh, it's okay, I'm doing my best. Oh, someone left a Kodai here too. Jeez, this guy must be loaded. I wonder if it was this guy and he just kept the volley staff inside of it. Don't do that. The Kodai gives so much bonuses, you really don't want to do that. But uh, if it, if you're limited on inventory space, if you have full Darox, I can see it happening. And you do want to have a special attack bar. If you have a good spec weapon too. Like if he has claws, I can see it happening. If he has a VLS, I can see it happening. I don't like how he's running from me. He's going to turn around right here. Yep, he got first hit. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to give you the second hit on my Dragon Hide. And you immediately go into range mode. But you gave me the hit off prayer, which is kind of silly. And now I'm going to try and do is just one tick barrage as much as possible. So he looks to be really focusing on uh, mage overhead. So I'm going to fake you the mage right before he hits me. Hit him with a big bolt off prey. Now we're going to go for the whip. Double maul. Double eat. <laughs> that was <laughs> very panicky. Oh, he didn't even eat. What a noob. Oh my God. Perfect. This is a huge upgrade. This is absolutely massive. Um, what are we going to do? So I'm going to drop two items over here, the whip and the DDS. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, Carol's leather top, one of the best upgrades in my opinion, and just so much uh, damage, ACB, amazing, or it's so much damage mitigation, so much magic defense. That's how you speak. So I want the um, volley staff. That's a uh, first item. And I think the Great Axe is the one that the Darox set counts off of, so I can't get another Darox set, I think. Okay, so we got our Guthin Helm, perfect. I don't want the Ballista, I'm gonna drop it right now just because my inventory is looking a little bit heavy. And now I'm gonna go grab my Whip and Dagger again, I would never leave without those. What is over here? Okay, Bolts. There we go, so now we have a decent looking inventory. I wish I could hold more because the Ballista is not a bad item, there's a lot of things that I'd want. But it is what it is. Oh, I should take the Darox Legs. I like taking the Darax legs because uh, that means no one else can just grab a full set of Darax here, get a full upgrade. And uh, if they did that, then they have their own kill confirmed. Like, full Darax at 1 HP can still kill you from anything, so you never want to give other people opportunities. So now we get blessed with the crate at the mountain. That is perfect, perfect, perfect. We are walking around in full tank. You always walk in full tank. We get a VLS. That's perfect. That's perfect. So, technically, you should still keep the whip and the VLS, but I'm going to be lazy and just... Right like that. There's a noob right here running in. I don't know if it's a bot or a noob. I'm going to assume maybe both. And all you got to do, just run up. Don't move your camera too much. We're going to run away. Big bolt. Okay, we hit nothing with the bolt. But now we're just going to go with VLS. Maul. <laughs> That's not how you do it at all. There we go. Perfect. Pretend that worked perfectly. That's it. Okay, he dropped nothing, which is really nice to see. Something that I actually think in LMS, there should be a chest like right around there because this time is like this area is often fogged up. Like as you can see right here, it's probably going to fog me, right? Yeah, we don't need the AGS. The VLS is better. Um, and like sometimes you want to run to the settlement and get more fights, but you don't want to run into it because there's no chests all the way into it. And the way fog works, you're often like this area is often foggy before this area. So again, we're just going to go over to the bot. You always just want to farm the bots. Like why not? Um, I get if you're trying to improve, don't be an LMS. <laughs> That's all I can say. LMS is not your best way to improve in the game. We get a huge. Bruh. So we can just try and practice our one ticks real quick. There you go. I equip the armor as I hit. The important thing that I didn't do there is you want to get back out of your armor in one tick too. One tick in. That was, I think that was two ticks in. Ooh, okay, so we get another key. We're doing fine. Again, like this is another example. I think this is in the fog, so I don't want to go to it. But like there should be a chest like right here that I can open. Because now I actually have to go into the settlement to be able to uh, cash in this key. And if there's someone waiting there, then I'll never be able to cash it in. And that just feels bad. Like, I feel like I killed that bot. I deserve the key, you know? So like, yeah, the guy's right here. He's going to hit me, I think. Ooh, we got the first barrage. So the thing you always gotta do is get under them as soon as possible. Just think back to, you know, middle school, you're cheating X. You gotta get under everyone as soon as possible. XD, I don't know why he's XDing me. Unless this guy is absolutely lost, like just mad confused, like a goat on AstroTurf. I do not get it at all. But um, yeah, like just like your cheating ex-girlfriend, you wanna get under people as soon as possible. That is how you gain momentum on them. Just like that, get under them. Oh yeah. 
And you know, it only lasts for 20 seconds, but that is more than enough time for most men, actually. Most men, including myself. You know, a lot of lesser guys wouldn't admit it, but I am proud of my speed and technique. And you know what? It doesn't matter because I may not be good at that thing, but uh, I am good at beating noobs in RuneScape. So that is what's important in life. Of course, uh, I kind of drowned that out a little bit. Said that really weird. Sorry, not sorry. If I thought it, you have to deal with it. That's name of the game. Okay, so this guy has us at a huge distance. I don't even think he can actually hit me with his uh, crossbow. So he's just, again, looking real lost, like mad awkward, like your first high school dance. Or maybe just like any Michael Sarah movie. You never know. Isn't it crazy who that guy used to date? Like, how? how? I don't know. Okay, so he's able to run in. He's going to run in with another melee because that's what he likes doing. We're going to hit him with the old schmackity schmackity. Like, even these trades he's, that he's taking are just not good trades. So we're going to go over here. Uh, once again, we're just hiding behind the wall, waiting. He's going to try and mix us up. I'm just going to get fully situated. You know, no reason not to. Hit him with a good old Major Roo. And now we're going to hit him with the bolts. And now a VLS. Run away. He doesn't see it coming. Oh, not a big VLS at all. But now we waited enough time. We can refreeze him. And now, oh, we can't get under him. We can't get under him. Maybe he can get under us. Thank you, sir. Please. <laughs> okay, we just whacked him. I'm going to pray melee a lot, especially when he's doing stuff, because that's really his win condition. Like, there's not many good uh, spec weapons that aren't melee, so I just don't want him to be able to just do like a random declaw on me for 50 damage. Like, that's really the only way he's going to beat me. Okay, like a bad gym spotter, we're going to freeze and get under him. There you go. The joke is that gym spotters are supposed to stand above you. You're welcome for explaining that. And that's the first round done. So I hope you're still with me. I hope I haven't scared too many of you off. Let's see what the chat says. Gonna need an explanation for how. Ugh. I'm gonna refuse to answer. So what happens when you get skipped like that? If I get skipped again, you just gotta leave. We're gonna see what happens. Okay. There's a designated bot. That is another designated bot. Again, throw up your prayers. Right here, add all your potions. And we're just going to spam click. When this hits one, you can attack. So he's spraying melee. We're gonna do this. Okay, I guess I couldn't attack. Just kidding. I lied to you. So, let me see how he retaliates. If I hit him like this, will he hit me back? No. I'm trying to figure out what kind of bot this is, see what we can explain. So, we're going to walk under, and all I'm going to do, as I mentioned before, just work on my barraging. One, two, three. That, wasn't a, that was not a one tick at all. Very sad. You never want to get hit on robes either, so I'll just wait for him to do that. That was too many double clicks. I'm going to wait for him to hit me. Sad. Uh, the other thing you're supposed to be doing is creating a distance. That way people, when they uh, eventually do something like eat whatever they're going to do, you, they can't just 50-50 you with a whip and a crossbow. Jesus. This kind of RNG is the Mod Ash special. It's what happens when you say mean things to him on Twitter. Uh, he will curse your account forever and then you're never allowed to hit a freeze again. Thankfully, I did apologize in the middle of that fight, so he let me get the first freeze. But it was definitely rough for a minute there. We brew up to 115. We're in a good spot right now. But uh, that's just a really good example of just how uh, freezing works. Like, sometimes you just never land a freeze. And then, like, you can't get momentum. Like, that's part of LMS. There is a huge amount of RNG in LMS. So it is what it is, what it is, what it is. Uh, we get two good items. I'm going to take this. What I like about the Ballista is, one, it has a spec bar, so you can 50-50 them from the Ballista into the DDS. The other thing is that it just has really long range. So in a lot of fights, they're going to mage you and freeze you, and you're going to be frozen as well. And sometimes you're so far away, they really can't do anything. But with the Ballista, you're able to actually, like, hit them. <laughs> and uh, because I'm also on a pure, I have defensive options disabled, and long range is a defensive option. So this is basically just, like, a nice little benefit. Like, I can have longer range while not sacrificing anything else. So we get a real fight. He starts with a bolt. I think he's going to mage next. He did. I misclick. We call that fumbling the bag. Let's see how he reacts. Uh, he reacted faster than me. He's going to bolt. He's going to mage. All I'm doing right here, I'm just going to brew up. You brew into blitz, into brew, into restore, into a big ballista. Let's see if he's naturally going to pray melee. He didn't pray melee. So what I'm getting right here is that there's a lot of things he's doing that are just a little bit suboptimal. 
which we're going to take advantage of. A lot of people, when you run up to them, we, uh, will naturally prey melee because, like, you have to be in melee range to use melee. So, like, it's kind of like an indicator like as you walk up to them that you're about to melee. And it's something that good players will see. They'll either prey melee or, depending on the conditioning that you've done to them, they'll prey something else. Like, if you run up every time and then decide to uh, bolt them in their face. Okay, this guy is just going to do that. So he's getting really lucky that uh, I'm not landing these freezes. It gives him a lot more mix-up opportunity, and he just refroze me again. Oh, man. It is what it is, though. We are just going to continue to just slowly push our advantage, try and hit him off prayer. Whatever he's doing, we just want to do the opposite. We're trying to hit uh, one-take the barrages as often as possible. Uh, you never want to forecast your attacks. Like I always say, you know, Jad was forecasting his attacks back in uh, 2007. But the difference is Jad can hit 95. You can't. All you can hit is a 33, and that just makes it really embarrassing when you try and forecast and do nothing. He's an AGS, I think. Nope. Anytime that I can't see his hand, I'm going to assume that he's whipping out the AGS, and I pray melee. The reason for this is because uh, he doesn't... Okay, he can one-ticket from the staff. There we go. There, that's how he does it. But uh, a lot of people like to use the pot trick, which is basically when you drink a potion instead of eating, you can attack immediately after that. We're just going to whip him, get some free hits in. Big hits, big hits. Is he going to AGS me? Desperation, yep. So we have a good lead, so I think he's going to AGS me, and he might even go for an AGS whack right here. I don't even remember what I was talking about. It's too bad. We only move forward. I'm just going to wait until he stops. Okay, he's going to let me do this. There we go. Get back in tank. So we're just going to try and do the opposite. Go for all the blood brushes in the world. Let's heal up. We don't want to give him wind condition. He's getting a little bit of momentum on us, but it's fine. So that was a, that was a good anti-attempt by him. He saw that what we were doing and decided to try and uh, AGS whack us down. But that's why you keep your health high. You do not want to give someone a potential wind condition. And all I'm going to do is just mix up the, bar the ballista and the hits and the whips. So there we go. Another clean W. Good fight by him. But uh, we came out on top. <laughs> um, volley staff is a great upgrade as a spec bar. So we're going to take that. We are just going to continue potting up. Ancestral hats. We don't need. We don't need this. I'm going to take the hat up until we get to our chest and then drop it. Just so we don't end up getting a hat in this. We can get a piece of Arams or Ancestrals instead. There we go. Our primary item it was a Sears ring. Not really good at all, but it is what it is. And just sorting on my inventory a little bit. I'm going to hang on to the dagger because you don't always end up a f or end a fight with 50% spec, so you can use another spec. And in that case, you want to have the dagger so you can use a spec. You know, a spec is better than no spec. I'd rather use a DDS at 25 than no, no AGS at 50. That doesn't make sense at all. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, anyways, southwest of the city wall, there is a crate that is back here, and what we're hoping for is that we find a fight, which we did. So this guy has no prayer up, which is not a good sign for him. I mean, you really want to have your prayer up at all times to prevent people just running up on you and just causing chaos, carnage, confusion. So what we're just going to do, like I mentioned every time, just get under him as quickly as possible. He has an ancient godsword. That's a massive upgrade for us. So we really got to make sure that we don't fumble the bag right here. So all we have to do is get five ticks away, or five tiles away, not ticks. You can't run ticks, you run tiles. Um, and that's how you prevent the Ancient Godsword spec from hitting us. And again, we're just looking at what he's doing and then trying to do the opposite. So he finally decided to pray mage. We hit him with a big ballista, he's not going to eat it. Oh, he did eat it. Good for you, my guy. A lot of people see the ballista, then immediately react and decide to pray against it. So we're going to take advantage of that. No big hits. I got to clean up my inventory like this. Go for the back-to-back -back ballista. I don't even think I'm range potted right now. Ooh, but when he came in, our goal was to AGS him as he was coming in. But these are massive. Oh my, he had a light bearer too. This is massive upgrades. Carol's top is one of the best upgrades. It's just so tanky. Uh, Aram's rope top, that's an upgrade. This guy was stacking everything. Oh my god, Fury. That's huge defensive bonuses. Staff of the Dead's an upgrade that I like. Light bearer, absolutely massive upgrade. Uh... Torag's Helm, where's that? Let's take that. Just so much loot. Oh my god. Eternal Boots, he has Maul. We need the Ancient Godsword for sure. We're going to try and combo the Ancient Godsword into the AGS. Uh, I'm going to drop this for now so I can grab, I don't know, 
rapier. We're going to take that as a definite upgrade. And now we just got to take one of these items to bring over to here. That way, when we open the chest, I don't get a Sears ring again. I just want something new. I'm probably going to get a dark bow, though, because I feel like jagged. Oh, that's really good, too. We definitely can't complain about that. So we get darks, plate legs, the full dark set. But VLS is just incredible. And just because our inventory is looking a little bit busy, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this. The VLS does not replace the rapier, but I'm just I'm going to do it anyways. I think I'm strong enough. I think I have enough mix up potential and I'm going to do something crazy because I just want to have fun. That's the point of LMS. That's the point of the game, right? Have fun. I'm not going to use the VLS spec. So I think the AGS is a little bit higher. So I'm going to try and use an ancient Godsword spec into an AGS spec. And we're going to see if it works out well. Okay, so we have a bot over here. The last fight, whenever you have good items like a VLS or something, you always end up only finding bots. It's just like the unwritten rule of the game. So we're going to freeze him. Where, where are you going? Okay, there's another guy over here while that bot dies. I'm going to run in. Hit him with a big ancient god sword. Now we're going to fakey the mage. We're too far away. We're too far away. Oh, he thought we were too far away. I don't even know what that was. Bot got got. Bot got got. That's how we should say it. But that's exactly the combo I love doing, especially when you have a strong weapon like uh, the ballista, something like that. You're able to fakey something to try and hit him off prayer and then go in for the second hit. It's not optimal, but it's just so fun. I mean, how how do you not love that, right? Like, how do you not love this? You just wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 there's nothing like making your guy explode, right? <laughs> Okay, we're going to get into another game real quick. Uh, this is going to be the last one. I think I'm going to do three in a row. And I know it seems like I'm really just bullying bots this whole time, but th this is the only LMS world available right now. Like, that's it, it is what it is. Like, there's only this one competitive world. You are destined to get bots no matter what. So this is just, you know, an accurate representation of the game. Once again, we're just going to put on our robes, click the barrage. We're going to attack when it hits one like this. And then get under him like a bad gym spotter because they're supposed to be above him, blah, 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 blah. Or I could say something crazy. Like I could say like, you got to get under him like the underminer that is the antagonist from the 2004 Disney Pixar animated movie, The Incredibles, as well as the follow-up 2018 Disney Pixar Incredibles 2. Yeah, something crazy like that. The underminer is the guy that goes like he's the half mole guy that wants to flip the world over so that the underworld people are now on the top and the top world are now on the bottom to flip the rules for everybody on society kind of like the chads versus stacy's thing i don't know i've been watching too much interviews uh crazy people on on the computer you know what it is no you don't um we got a huge upgrade though we got dragon claws that's how you're supposed to say it and even though he's playing melee it's a bot i'm just gonna try and kill him as fast as possible and that means clawing him we get a good one tick barrage right there and a fakey 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 we're gonna hit him with the whip and run away Hit him with the whip and run away. Okay, we're not doing too much. We misclick a lot. Okay, he's dying. So once again, we always pray. Or er, pot up, pot up, pot up, pot up, pot up. I can't speak anymore. I'm thinking like I have two brain cells and they're fighting over what to say. This is a live commentary. So yeah, it's not always going to be perfect. Okay, my, my upgrades right there is actually a perfect example of what I hate. So I got full Darox, which is like... You know, if I'm one HP, I can just dark bomb them and hope to get a kill. Like it's a free win condition. It's an amazing upgrade. And I got an occult necklace, which like if you can do that in one tick, which I just failed right there. But if you can one tick and barrage consistently, great upgrade. If you can't, which is like 99% of the player base, probably 99.9, .9, then all it does is it means you take an extra tick. So it gives an extra tick for your opponent to pray mage. And then that uh, increased the damage, the 10% magic damage bonus that you get from this is then lowered by 40% because they're able to get their prey mage on. Uh, compared to if you just one ticket, they don't have time to react, and then you get a full hit damage. So the vast majority of the player base, this is a downgrade for most people, I think. For the vast majority. But Jagex thinks that this is more worthwhile than the entire Dark set. At the very least, it's a leg upgrade. Like, it's a free upgrade that you can't go wrong with. At the very least. So I think Jagex is absolutely crazy. Like, uh, who should I say? Like Charlie Sheen on February 24th, 2011. Go look up that date. Uh, it's probably you're like, why do you know that date? But uh, why don't you know that date? It's the day that he thought he was like an F-15 fighter pilot or something. I don't know. Look it up. He said he's going to drop like ballista, ballistics, ballist, blah, 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 blah. 
He said it's gonna drop something on people. Like, it was a really weird thing. Charlie Sheen used to be like one of the most popular people on earth. And then he just, the fall from grace is incredible. Should be studied. Uh, AVS World, we know this guy's an absolute new barino. And the reason that we're gonna sit here is because one, we know he's an absolute new barino. But two, what we also know is that this guy has an ACB, this guy's a Kodai. We have a uh, rune crossbow and an Aram staff. So whoever wins this, as long as we can kill them, we get a massive staff upgrade and a massive crossbow upgrade. And then combine that with the Dragon Claws, we will basically be set with endgame gear. Anything else will be extra gravy on top. I love biscuits and gravy for a nice breakfast. Ooh, I love the South. <laughs> so this guy's trying a lot, but he's just not good. Um, he did kill us. No, we killed him, huh, noob? Oh, shoot. I'm looking at the tracker. It was not even close. I was up 200 damage. Sit down, my guy. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> so I'm just waiting here. That's why I'm waiting. Normally, I wouldn't wait. I'd be, because I'm in tank, I'd be running around in tank. Again, tank is with the staff, not the crossbow. Look at the, look at the bonuses go up with the staff. Staff is tanky. And you want to run around in tank like this, so you don't just take a random ballista or something off prayer, because then you just have no momentum. You got to eat up all of a sudden, and then it's just, it's not a good look. So, we are going to do this. Oh my god. This is taking a long time, like the, oh. <laughs> okay, so our friend got him. He killed him about two, three seconds ago. I'm going to call it 45. That means I'm going to start clicking him at around zero, zero on the timer right here. It's about 15, 20 seconds that you got to wait before you can get into a new fight. So that's all I'm going to do. I think it's like 17 seconds. Oh, he's going into fog too. He's going into fog. If I freeze him in fog, it's going to be hilarious. Thank you. Oh no, I froze me in fog. Uh-oh. There's no way he got that. Look at his gear. So he bolted. I'm going to wait for him to bolt and then I'm going to do my thing. And again, we're just going to do look at whatever he's doing and try and do the opposite. We tend to prioritize prey range because a lot of people can't immediately uh, one take a barrage. A lot of people just aren't at that level like us. And uh, yes, I'm going to humble brag it. So once again, you know, get under him. There we go. First ex-girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. I said it a thousand times. Uh, you can say whatever you want. You can say get under him like Monica Lewinsky. I don't think she actually got under him, but she definitely got under a table, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, the 20 seconds of the freeze is still probably longer than her career lasted after she did that. And she suffered forever for it, and he got impeached. So, like, the, the repercussions were immeasurable. It changed the course of the entire country, which was crazy. And that's what happens for 20 seconds. But what's even crazier is what I'm about to do to this guy. Hit him with the blood blitz. Run in. We're going to hit him with the whippity whippity. Oh, look at that stack. Always pray melee whenever he's eating. That way we uh, he doesn't get a sneaky little DDS on us. Combo right here. He's going to... He likes to bolt. See, part of the issue is that one where we're sitting in fog because we're noobs. But the other thing is that... We're going to run past him, see if he'll wait a little bit. I'm just going to keep the pressure up. That way he can't retaliate as quickly. He's going to DDS. Yep. So we, we just keep sitting in fog, and that is just not a good look. Eat, eat, eat. We're just going to run this way as fast as we can. As fast as we can. We got to get out of the fog. And now, actually, what I can do here, if I don't sit... Oh, he can see me from here? What? He can, I didn't think he could see me here. Okay, so we need the fog hitting him. Good, good, good. That's what we were hoping for. I'm just actually going to camp the top the whole time. No! Don't kill me! Yes! <laughs> so we get absolutely blessed. Um... If that fight looked close, I mean, it was. I can't pretend that it wasn't a close fight. But in reality, it, like, in terms of damage that was deserved, it was not at all. But in terms of the way, how the fight actually ended up, it was definitely close. But like we expected, we got a huge upgrade for both the ACB and the uh, wands, the Kodai wands. And we also get the Ancestral Robe Top, so a smaller upgrade there. And we even get the Elder Maul. Now let's check out what we get from the chest. <laughs> the, this is amazing, the Light Bear. One of the best things. And the way it synergizes with the claws, just because it's so much damage. Did I just lose a shark there? I think I might have. Um, unfortunately, this is like a little awkward. I gotta run this way, I think, to get out of the fog faster. Oh, perfect. 
Um, but we're in really good shape right there. But if you want to know, so he got a bonus 150 damage. I got a bonus 110, and that's just mainly the fog damage from how much the fog did. But uh, he got better damage, or he got more free damage than I did, which means that he was just either keeping me in fog more or that he was just getting luckier hits. You never really know. Oh, a huge upgrade again. Notice I'm not dropping anything as I go through these because these are only primary item upgrades. So now that it's done, I'm going to drop stuff and I'm even going to drop this. Just clear my inventory. Why not? But uh, I feel like the next couple fights are all going to be bots. You know, it is what it is. <sighs> but uh, you always want to keep the primary items while you open a chest. That way you can't get them again and therefore can continue to get cycle through different items and see what else you can get. Where's the door? I have to go all the way around. Give me a minute or two, my guy. I'm coming for you. Ooh. What a massive hit. Oh, another one. Another one. Okay. So he's dead. Where's my next bot fight? We're going to open the chest immediately. We're probably going to get one of the items we had. Oh, a Void Waker. That's a huge upgrade. Uh, and Aram's Bottoms. You know, obviously, uh, not obviously. I should never say obvious because, like, it's not obvious for all the noobs out there. But uh, basically, like... Uh, we're gonna win. It's all bots. The game is all bots. You know, that's unfortunate the reality. We're gonna pretend we're mixing them up. Oh, look at those hits. To the Elder, to the Elder. Oh, the three hit. It was actually like nine hit splats, but you know it is what it is. GG again. That's the third win in a row, and I think we're done with this. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this commentary, let me know. Um, if you think I say some weird stuff, let me know. I appreciate it. Just say something in the comments below to help me with the algorithm. Oh, they're dancing. Roses and red. How cute. Um, I know like a lot of times I am like more awkward than your first school dance, but that is part of life. I say a lot of weird stuff. I say what comes to my head and this was a live commentary, so I can't really edit it. You know, that'd be really cool if I could, but I can't. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Uh, let me know if you guys want more of these. Let me know if you guys want some more commentaries of me just actually in the wilderness. If you wanted me just roaming around the game, like one five, one point five tick teaking. I can't even think of what it's called <laughs> doing one point five tick teaks. That's what it's called. Uh, just let me know, and uh, we'll have a great time then. I'm not freezing this guy. This guy's a giant noob. I'm going to DDS him. Yep. Look at these clicks. Jesus. I am clicking worse than, like, every Redditor combined.